the evolutionary story of whales is one that I believe many people would like to hear. Nowadays, even children know that whales are not fish, but mammals. Yet, why did these mammals venture deep into the ocean and eventually take on the form of fish? How did they evolve step by step into the largest animals in Earth's history? Today, we'll share the story of whales with you. The tale of whales begins with our old friend, the great extinction event 66 million years ago. The 10 million years following the apocalyptic disaster caused by a massive meteorite impact are known as the Paleocene, a dark age for animals. Everywhere one looked, there were barren and desolate lands. The surviving animals struggled by any means necessary just to survive, experiencing nothing but a grim reality. Among the most tragic was the landmass of India, which had not yet collided with Asia. Prior to the extinction event, India experienced massive volcanic activity known as the Deccan Traps. As my viewers might recall, this was sufficient to cause the extinction of local fauna. The supervolcanic activity caused Indian dinosaurs to go extinct 250,000 years earlier than expected. At that time, the Indian subcontinent was still an isolated island in the sea with no escape routes for its inhabitants. One can only imagine the dire consequences faced by the animals on this island under the dual assault of supervolcanoes and meteorites. By the Eocene epoch, there were almost no animals left on the Indian subcontinent. As time passed, the Indian subcontinent gradually moved northward, causing the ancient Tethys Ocean to rise. Large groups of islands formed in the northern part of India, providing habitats for surviving animals from North Africa and the coastal areas of Asia. Over time, these animals began to migrate along the islands eventually reaching the Indian subcontinent. By this time, India had become a wild and untamed land with plenty of vacant ecological niches for any vertebrate that arrived. The immigrants from North Africa and Asia quickly established a new order in India. Overall, due to India's two disastrous events, its biodiversity plummeted drastically leading to much less competition for survival compared to other regions, thus providing opportunities for some animal groups that had already become extinct elsewhere. For example, there was a creature similar in form to Indohias, possessing hooves but being carnivorous. With their small size, they would have faced extinction elsewhere, but in the Indian subcontinent, their diving abilities allowed them to thrive. The wonder of evolution lies in how all adaptations are tailored to fit the current environment, but they can have incredible consequences in the future. It's truly miraculous how the ancestors of whales evolved step by step into the largest animals in Earth's history, all thanks to their diving abilities. The previous supervolcanic eruptions and the massive meteorite impact nearly wiped out all dinosaurs and mammals on the Indian subcontinent. Consequently, for a considerable period afterward, there were no large predators in India's rivers. However, there was an abundance of fish, providing ample food. Thus, a portion of the ancestors of whales began to fully transition to an aquatic lifestyle, giving rise to the Picasi today. With their emergence, the Cetacea stepped onto the stage of evolution. The bodies of Pecatidae had undergone comprehensive optimization for swimming. Their hooves evolved into webbed feet, and their ears could close to reduce drag while swimming. Fish became their primary source of food. Nature soon delivered a gift, the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum, a period we're quite familiar with. In summary, global temperatures began to rise, marking the onset of a warm and humid period worldwide. 
marshes, and rivers proliferated across the Indian subcontinent, providing ample opportunities for the Cetacea to thrive. Thus, the Ambulocetidae emerged onto the evolutionary stage. Regarding the lifestyle of Ambulocetidae, the academic community is still unclear. Although they resembled crocodiles in appearance, their metabolic rates were much higher as mammals, so they might not have been able to ambush prey underwater like crocodiles. However, from this point onward, whales officially transitioned from land animals to semi-aquatic creatures. Additionally, nature provided whales with more opportunities. Due to global warming, tropical oceans became extremely hot, and the increased levels of carbon dioxide in the air caused severe acidification of seawater. This led to the rapid collapse of existing ecosystems in tropical oceans, creating a brief power vacuum that whales capitalized on to enter the oceans. Early marine whales continued their semi-aquatic lifestyle, with their limbs evolving into paddle-like forms resembling modern seals. However, the fortunate streak of whales was about to end. Around 50 million years ago, as Earth's temperatures began to decline from their peak, large marine animals, represented by sharks, gradually returned to tropical waters. Consequently, these early marine whales were quickly outcompeted by sharks, almost cutting off the evolutionary path of whales in the oceans. Fortunately, there was a group of whales that found the right evolutionary path, Protocetus. Protochetus appeared around 45 million years ago. Although, like earlier early whales, they also crawled onto land, their limbs had already undergone significant degradation. Their feet became more fin-like, and their tails greatly elongated, making their body shape more fish-like. It was this body structure that ultimately allowed the descendants of Protocetus to complete a successful transition from a semi-aquatic lifestyle to a truly marine one. Around 41 million years ago, they evolved into the earliest predators in the whale family, Basilosaurus. These giants, over 15 meters long, were the earliest giants among whales. With their huge size and sharp teeth, Basilosaurus quickly became the top predators in shallow seas preying not only on ray-finned fish, but also on small sharks and other whale species. However, some whales evolved into a short and stout form, such as Dorodon. They fed on small fish and shrimp, but were quickly displaced by Basilosaurus and sharks. Some Dorodon migrated to deeper oceans. Around 33.9 million years ago, the Earth's temperature dropped by nearly 10 degrees Celsius within a few thousand years, causing a sharp drop in sea levels. Coastal whales faced extinction in what is known as the Eocene-Oligocene extinction event. However, the Dorudon that had migrated to deeper oceans escaped this extinction event. Afterward, whales evolved a clear trend of becoming larger and larger. This large body size allowed them to accumulate enough nutrients internally, maintain body temperature in increasingly colder seawater, and resist predator attacks. Additionally, some random mutations caused a fatty protrusion to evolve on the heads of whales. This fatty tissue acted like a convex lens, focusing the ultrasonic waves emitted by whales underwater. When these evolved features were combined with the highly specialized underwater hearing of whales, echolocation emerged. This endowed whales with powerful sensory abilities, equipping them with weapons to confront sharks head-on. Soon, Odontocetes emerged among whales, engaging in a struggle with Neosolachii in the oceans for over 20 million years. We've covered this story in our shark videos, so we won't repeat it here. However, similar to Dorodon, while Odontocety battled with sharks, some whales chose to avoid conflict. For instance, 
around 30 million years ago, Coronadon Havensteini emerged. It opted to feed on small fish and shrimp. To gather sufficient food, Coronadon Havensteini's teeth evolved numerous gaps. By opening its mouth towards schools of fish, it could create negative pressure, sucking in seawater and food together. Then, by squeezing out the seawater through the gaps, the fish and shrimp remained in its mouth. With this skill mastered, whales could finally exploit smaller organisms in the ocean. Subsequently, these whales evolved further, with their teeth eventually degrading and baleen growing in their mouths. Around 23 million years ago, modern mysticeti, in the true sense, stepped onto the evolutionary stage. To this day, mysticity are the largest filter feeders in the ocean, with the blue whale, the largest animal ever known among them. The story of whales continues, perhaps with future evolutions awaiting them. As I peruse this data, a vision often comes to mind. A small deer-like creature on the ancient Indian subcontinent dipping its hooves into the water, transforming into the largest mammal on this blue planet. It's truly a cinematic image that captures the imagination.